In this edition of Tech It Out, China's first Mars probe, Tianwen-1, is now more than 8 million kilometers away from the Earth and is going to make the second orbit adjustment. We find out more about its mission on the Red Planet. The earliest known bat in South Africa dates back to 200,000 years ago. And a new discovery in the early universe. Astronomers find a young galaxy very similar to our own Milky Way. If everything goes as planned, Tianwen-1 will be the first mission in history to successfully study the red planet with an orbiter, lander, and rover. And what is their mission and how can it do it? Last time we walked you through the landing process known as 7 Minutes of Terror. And after that, China's Mars rover will make its debut. It will extend the four solar panels in the shape of butterfly wings and trottle off the ramp on the lander. It's expected to explore the surroundings for at least 90 Martian days, or roughly three months on Earth. It will use the orbiter as its communication relay with controllers on Earth. For any scientific mission, power is the first concern. The rover starts work during the afternoon when the temperature is highest so it can store energy for the night shift. But just 30% of the solar energy can be converted into electricity. So there is a power innovation, a chemical called N-undecane. It will absorb solar heat and melt during the day and release the energy and re-solidify during the night. 80% of the heat will be stored. Well, the Chinese team has identified two potential landing areas for rover. And here, and here. North of the equator on the plains of Utopia Planitia. It's believed to have been a giant ocean in ancient times. It is flat and smooth and has good sunshine. Many previous rovers, including two Vikings, Pathfinder, and Perseverance in 2020, landed nearby. And most importantly, you want to land close to your research area. Well, Tianwen-1 would carry out a comprehensive study on Mars. This includes an overall inspection on a global level and a targeted research in specific areas. Thirteen instruments are involved, and six are fitted on the rover and seven on the orbit. That's right, the orbiter will not only act as the communication link, but also needs to move to a closer orbit to survey the planet for an entire Martian year, or roughly 23 months. The orbiter will use this vantage point to check out a wide view. With a high-resolution camera and radar, it will map the surface and characterize the geological structure, searching for water and ice, as well as rock distribution. The rover will study the soil composition and look for evidence of underground water. It also needs to collect atmospheric data to document climate change. These are all elements in determining the so-called habitability of Mars. A similar scientific instruments could be seen in previous missions to Mars. But Mars is so big and so much of it is unknown to us. Given that China's rover will explore an area never reached before, any data collected will definitely deepen on our understanding about the Red Planet. Along with Tianwen-1, missions by the U.S. Perseverance and the UAE's HOPE will also be carried out in July. The HOPE satellite is to launch on the Japanese rocket. Given the COVID-19 travel restrictions, the UAE had to deliver the satellites to the Tanagashima Space Center ahead of a schedule to avoid missing the optimum launching window in mid-July. HOPE will only orbit Mars and focus exclusively on the Martian atmosphere. The lower atmosphere can reveal the climate change and exosphere may tell us how and why oxygen and hydrogen escaped. The UAE also chose a unique inclined orbit which will offer a chance to study Mars the whole day rather than at a fixed time. Mars exploration pioneer NASA is sending its latest car-sized robot Perseverance to search for signs of microbial life. It will be sent to an uncharted Asian lake bed crater and will drill for rock and soil core samples. The sample will be stored in 43 tubes. The plan is for the samples to be taken back to Earth in a future mission. Scientists will then check whether they contain any organic material 
which would be really exciting. By the way, Chinese officials have suggested that if Tianwen-1 and later on the Chang'e 5 moon missions go well, China could attempt to collect and return samples from Mars beginning around 2030. Also, Perseverance will carry the helicopter drone for a test of flight on Mars. Welcome to Science Saturday. I'm Kasturi Manikam. Today we look at science news ranging from the first COVID-19 vaccine to the world's oldest bed. First, the earliest known bed has been found at the border cave in South Africa. It dates back about 200,000 years ago. The mattress is made of grass to make it soft and it's constructed on layers of ash that would have protected the sleepers from bed bugs. Previously, the oldest known use of plant bedding by humans from the Stone Age dated to 77,000 years ago. Russia has become the first country to approve a COVID-19 vaccine. President Vladimir Putin says one of his daughters had taken the vaccine and it was safe. Critics have expressed concern about its safety after less than two months of human testing. More than 100 vaccine candidates are being worked on around the world. At least four of them have entered the final stage of human trials. A young galaxy that looks just like the Milky Way has been spotted. The galaxy looks as it was when the universe was 1.4 billion years old. And that's because it took more than 12 billion years for the light from this galaxy to reach Earth. The findings suggest this galaxy is unchaotic, contradicting theories that all galaxies in the early universe were turbulent and unstable. The prestigious 2020 Dirac medal winners have been announced. Three physicists from France, the United States and Argentina, namely André Nouveau, Pierre Ramon and Miguel Verasoro have received the award for their pioneering contributions to the inception and formulation of string theory. The Medal of the International Center for Theoretical Physics is deemed as the highest honor in the fields of theoretical and mathematical physics. Well, that's all for today. If you have any comments, please let us know and stay in touch with us on our website and social media platform. This is CGTN's Check It Out. See you next time.